Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is another re-Japanese episode where I, as a Japanese person, go learn Japanese culture but from non-Japanese people. In this episode, I am learning Kudo, Japanese martial arts of archery. Let me introduce today's guest, Jessica-san. Yay! Hi everyone, I am Jessica and I've lived in... Hey, hello! Konnichiwa. Okay, hi everyone. I am Jessica and I am originally from New Zealand. I've lived in Japan for 20 years and I've been studying Kudo, which is the Japanese martial art of archery for five years. How did you fall in love with Kudo? Okay, so I really liked archery actually from when I was very small. So I have okay. a photo from my fifth birthday. I'm wearing Robin Hood. Everything Robin Hood, oh, right? Okay. So really tomboy. I was I had like the bow and arrow and everything and Robin Hood was like my idol. Like oh. yes, he's so cool. <laughs> and I love Robin Hood. One day, uh, about twelve years ago, I was with my child, my eldest child, doing Hanami, which is cherry blossom viewing, and there was a dojo right in the middle of the park. This one in Omiya you can see as you walk past. You can see people doing the practice. Right. So I was like, what? is this because <laughs> this is like archery but nothing yeah. I've ever seen before. Right. So yes. we're gonna get started. Hey. Oh. Today I don't have a cameraman so I'll be holding a camera here and there. Uh, so first we're gonna set up the uh, right. mato. Yes we're gonna walk through this is the yamichi. Oh. So the place where the arrows fly 28 meters. 28 meters? Yes. They're 36 centimeters across. The inside is paper. So it's like a drum. how often do you practice now? Every day. Every day? Like so if I if I don't have work, um, usually I'll be in the dojo. Yeah. <laughs> Such a dedication. Yeah, but it's super fun. It's cool that you can do Kudo at any age. So we have a 94-year-old practitioner at oh, our wow. dojo. The next thing is to set up our bow and our arrows and our glove. Hi. So this Hi. is Yumi inside a bag. As you can see, I'm 166 centimeters. 166, oh, okay. so if you imagine this on a Japanese train. Mm, <laughs> Okay, wow, so this is your bow for today. Wow. This is made of fiberglass. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so. <laughs> so. Some people have, you know, like pink and white. A large percentage of the Kyoto population is students. So, Bukatsu no Chugakse, Kokose, Daigakse. Bukatsu Okay, so we need to string the bows. There's a hole in the wall here for putting our bows into. So this is how we string it. And bring it up onto our leg. And then we can hook it right here and slowly bring up and it's it's this the string is on this is your one for today it's lighter than i thought so then and it depends on the material so hai, some hai, bamboo bow is like actually a bit heavier these yeah. ones are pretty light oh so is not it the drawer is like out past here to here it's like archery so here it's cute oh. yeah so these are made of aluminium uh, the last thing we need to get ready is the kudo glove, mm. which is called yugake. Yugake? Yugake. So the yugake is made of deer skin. Ah, so Yeah, so if you're vegan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have something else I have to use because right. women need to protect the chest area when they're shooting because mm. the string's gonna come past and trust me. You don't want to get snapped with the string <laughs> on your boobs. So. Oh, that's why. Huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Yes. Mm. There's a bit of a step there. Oh, and that's right. the place where we hook the string in. I'll just go through it one time, right. if that's okay. We're going to do yugamai, right. which is preparing the form. 
We do a thing called tsuru shirabe no shirabe one time. Tsuru shirabe no shiru kamae. Tsuru shirabe no shirabe means uh, we check the string はい。and we check the mato and はい。then we bring our eyes back. While looking at the target, we lift up and this is called uchiyokoshi. Push with our left arm and our right arm bends at the elbow and then we do hikiwake which is drawing. This is kai which is the point that is full draw. And then hanabe which is release. And then zanshin which mm. is the end position. Right. So there are eight movements. Oh. That's for one arrow. <laughs> so so, and then after you let go, you gotta, you gotta keep that position. And then you put your bow down. So this is another. A bow is like that. Yeah, yeah. So how about I show you one time? Right, right. We shoot holding two arrows, and that's just a throw over from the war when Japan used the bow as a weapon, uh, and it was just so that you could re-knock or reload the next arrow as quickly as possible. See. Yeah. We come from here mm -hmm. and we bow one time. Yeah, and then we're gonna go right foot, left foot, right. together and open. So this is our this is the ashibumi. So you're gonna do ashibumi. Do one foot towards the target with our left foot first, mm -hmm. our right foot one step away as well. And so we wanna try to make it about the arrow length. So this is not too bad. And we're going to bring both hands up around to here. And so we're going to open up these fingers and put the arrow in between. Yeah, this one goes onto our hip bone here. Yep. And we're going to do tsuru shirabe no shirabe. So we check the string and we check over to the mato. <laughs> so we're going to lift up. So this is uchiyokoshi. And if you remember, you bend at the elbow and push with your hand, and your thumb is going to go towards the mato. So you, yeah. Push using this one, so you're going to turn your hand around and that. Yeah. And then this one is pull. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> but you see where your uh -huh. glove is, uh -huh. so it should be back around here. Oh, so okay. you still your drawer is small, but that's okay, you know, it's your first time. So the next step is the yudaoshi. Mm. So we're going to bring the bow and our other arm <laughs> down at the same time. <laughs> yeah. We're going to okay. lift it up right in front of our face. Right. But we're going to be looking at the target. <laughs> and we're going to lift it up <laughs> about this <laughs> height. <laughs> yeah. Bigger, bigger, bigger. There you go. Okay. Ah, then she got away. Where did it go? The big drawer that you need to figure out. And you can let go whenever you like. Ah, then that.
You're doing pretty good though. Yeah, basically. Ah, zanshin, ne? Ah, yes. Zanshin, and then you bring both arms down, and this is called yudaoshi. Yeah. To be continued. Yes, to be, to be continued. Actually, you see, like. Oh. But you know, they're together, you know. Yeah. That's pretty rare. You did pretty good if you were standing in that front target. 試し切りとかやるときもこう切った後に切った後の考察して勉強するじゃないですか。Yes. これもだから一緒ってことですね。Yes. So the angle that the arrows hit the other she is also really interesting. なんかこう弓がこっち側に入り込んでるからやっぱこういうアングルから入ってきちゃってるってことですもんね。Are you sure I wasn't aiming this one? I'm not sure where you were aiming, my dear, but I think you did pretty good for your first time, to be honest. 一番最初にジェシカさんが About so it took about one month. And I was like everywhere. I was like spaghetti. So you can imagine if you're like a spaghetti and you're all wobbly and floppy. Like I was really skinny and really weak. Right. It was just like going everywhere. Five years. What have you been doing for five years, Jessica? <laughs> talking to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you will be hard on yourself a little bit. ということで、今日はありがとうございました。<笑>ありがとうございました。お疲れ様です。We only had limited time <笑> yeah. over there, so we were only going over pretty, like, really, really、yes. basic stuff today. Yes. I'm guessing. What I know now is it takes a lot of time to learn the, the basics. basics. Yes,、yeah. the basics take quite a while, but you were so fast, I was surprised. You know those steps? Like,、uh. one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There's eight steps. Right. You remember them, which is really rare. I think I already forgot everything. Yeah, yeah. It's very rare. Are there many judo practitioners outside of Japan? I don't know exact numbers, but there's a federation called the International Judo Federation. So in New Zealand, we have four places to do judo, and yeah. So it just depends on the country. America is really big for judo. Right. Here, America, Canada, like larger countries, they will have great. Teachers and sometimes even the dojo, like the actual dojo, not、right. like a gym or anything like that. Right. I heard you are also <coughs> Kanpo Taishi. Ah、uh, yes. So the area that I live in is Saitama, which、mm. is north of Tokyo, and I am a kind of Kanpo Taishi called Love Saitama Ambassador. If you are interested in learning more about Kudo. You should definitely、uh, follow Jessica San's account on Instagram under Jess in Tokyo, and I will give you my link tree, which has、right. all my social media information.、Right. Cool.、Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank、Arigatou、you、gozaimashita. for coming. And,、uh, if you enjoyed this video, as usual, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Mata ne. Bye bye. Bye.